Today we are going to talk about what Princess calls their best price guarantee. We're also going to be talking about Azamara, why I am going to go on Azamara, and my itinerary for this next week so you can follow along and know what to expect. Finally, we also need to talk about Princess transfers and hotels. I started talking with you a little bit more about that a day or two ago and there's a lot more to share. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. Today is Saturday, it is September 14th of 2024, and let's start at the top talking about a news release that Princess made yesterday, dated September 13th of 2024, of course. The title of their press release is Princess Cruises Extends Cruise Industries Best Price Guarantee on 2025 and 2026 Cruises. It says now through September 15th, Better than the best price guarantee lets smart shoppers book early with absolute confidence. The article, the announcement goes on to say after a successful launch earlier this summer, Princess Cruises is extending the better than best price guarantee offer through December 15th so that guests can continue to book their ultimate 2025 and 2026 cruise vacations with added confidence that they are securing the absolute best cruise fare available. I'm thinking it's really important to talk uh, with you about this because Princess announced this, like they said earlier this summer, and then also about the same time last year, they also announced that when you booked early, you were going to be getting the best price on that cruise, and you could be confident about that. Since that time, and even since Princess made this announcement earlier this summer, uh, th that has not been the case on all the cruises. So I want to tell you what it is that you really need to know when you're booking your cruise with Princess. A lot of this applies to when you book your cruise on other cruise lines as well, not on some of the cruise lines though. Some cruise lines will let you change your price if you find the price of your cruise has gone down and everything else um, is equal about it. Same cabin, everything else is the same. They will let you get the better price on your cruise. And that is what has been happening even on cruises that Princess said that they were releasing the best price for when the pricing was first released for the cruise. Does that make sense? So they make it sound like book early, that's the best price. Later on, you're not going to be able to get a better price. Um, there are a lot of cruises that the price has gone down even then from when they were announced earlier earlier this year. Alaska 2026, some of the prices on those cruises are the same as when they were released. Some of them are down, some of them are up. And that is true of Europe. It's true of all the cruises out there right now. It honestly just depends on how quickly they're booking. They've got an algorithm in there clearly that will adjust the price based on where they think they're going with um, how much those cruises are booked, right? And so why am I telling you this? A few reasons. Um, one is if you want to go on a cruise, I think it's very important to book the cruise when you know you want to go. I wouldn't stand around and think, you know what, maybe next week there's going to be a different promo. Maybe next week the price is going to go down. If I want to go on a cruise and I know I want to go, I book that cruise and I get the cabin that I want. Now, if you're someone that you don't really care, if you ended up with a guaranteed interior on a cruise that you really want to go on, um, whatever, then you can wait a little bit longer because generally there will be some availability. We do have cruises though that people are inquiring about right now that are all waitlisted. And so not all cruises um, have availability. So when you know you wanna go, book it. And then you can keep an eye on the price if you want to. And if it goes down, you can call and get that price. Every once in a while, Princess has a promotion that they make it so that it's for new bookings only. So then you have to cancel your old cruise and book it again. It's um, just a little bit of, um, you know, canceling one, booking the other. That's no big deal. Um, when it gets closer to the time for a cruise to sail, then they're not sold out yet. They're doing what they're calling princess picks, and they're doing what they call drop and go rates. And if you are within the period of time that final payment, you've already paid your final payment, you usually, you cannot get those prices because they're for new bookings only. So if you cancel the cruise that you've already made your final payment on, you're gonna lose your money. 
And so at that point, you can't rebook it. But then you're within the window that you never know. Not all cruises are um, come up with those kind of rates because some of them are so sold by the time it would roll around to offer those better offers that those offers never show up. So you cannot count on those offers. Just wanted to let you know that, okay? So uh, when you put your questions in the comments below, talk about this in the comments below. I know that um, a lot of people watch the price of their cruise every day. A lot of people don't worry about it. And so navigate that however you would like to, but I just wanted to let you know that when you book your cruise with any cruise line, you're not guaranteed of having the best price on that day. That's just not how it works, even if they say it is. Um, Next, Azamara. So let me tell you some of the reasons that I wanted to go on Azamara. If you're new around here, Princess is my favorite cruise line. I don't work for Princess. I just really enjoy going on Princess. So I talk about it. It's a lot of fun for me, and we've met the most wonderful people doing this. So uh, why would I even think of Azamara? Azamara, to me, is it's got enough of Princess in it with some more better that I think that it's worth a look. And not only just for Gordon and I to go on, I am really anxious to see if it's something that's going to be good to think of doing a group on maybe not maybe so and i'll let you know so some of the things that really stand out to me is with those smaller ships they can get into smaller ports i shared on our live last night that the first time i knew this i knew this <laughs> but um, it really occurred to me when we were on a princess cruise and a part of our excursion we visited the village the town there of amalfi on the amalfi coast in italy and as we came up in a small boat as part of our excursion that day hopped off and spent i think basically a couple of hours in amalfi and then hopped back on our boat and went back uh, there in the little harbor was a um was an asmara ship and the people had all day there uh, and, and so i thought I need to do something like that. And so that is one of the reasons. And, and part of that is also, not only can they go to some of these smaller ports, which I'm going to be doing this, uh, leaving on September 21st from Barcelona is when my cruise goes. Uh, it's a France intensive. I'll tell you the uh, ports in a sec. But uh, they have always at least 10 hours in port. So you have time to go see what you want to see. I know Princess does a really good job. And sometimes they do have 10 hours in port. I was comparing recently my itinerary with a Mediterranean cruise that I'm going to be doing with one that is going to be done on Norwegian, we have much longer times in port. So a lot of reasons to choose different cruise lines. But when you're going somewhere for the itinerary, the number of hours that you have in port is crucial, alrighty? And so I love how Asamara does that. They refer to themselves as a floating hotel because they spend so long in the ports that they visit. Okay, another thing is they have these things called ama as amazing evenings, as amazing celebrations, as amazing experiences. They refer to them different ways um, in their... Um, information but what they do is have the guests who are on board have the opportunity to take part on shore in a very special as amazing celebration it usually includes dinner entertainment some kind of cultural immersion uh, not only in the food but with the people who are there so that you really feel like you have visited these places you don't come home just feeling like you went on a cruise oh yeah i went to europe it was fine no you feel a part of what it is that you're doing so i don't know where that's going to be on my voyage. I sure hope they have one because I want to show it to you and I want to experience it myself so I know what it's all about so that I can tell you. Um, another thing that I really like about a lot of their itineraries is they have really long overnights in several ports in the world. I singled out a few that really stood out to me, I want to tell you. So you can go on a cruise that includes 38 hours, 38 hours in Osaka, Japan, 49 hours in Bangkok, 38 hours in Livorno there in Italy. And if you don't know Livorno, look it up. It's a great jumping off point to go to a lot of the places that we want to visit. Seville, Spain or Sevilla, Spain, 34 hours. And even if you're just going to Reykjavik, 12 hours in part in Reykjavik, Iceland there. Um, so just wanted to tell you, they've got a lot of amazing itineraries. Like I said, they go to a lot of places that the large ships can't go to. And some of them, some honestly, some of the ports that they go to and spend their 10 hours, it's lovely. You should hear the excursions that I've got booked. Uh, the places that I get to go see, I'll take you with me with my videos. But um, 
some of the places you can pick up from a large cruise line, but not the same way as you do going on Asamara. And some of them you just can't pick up on a large cruise line. And so uh, there's a lot to be seen here. So I'm excited to tell you about it. So really quickly, and then I'm going to tell you about what's going on with those princess hotels. I can't tell you how disappointed I am. Um, the um, places that I'm going to go, leaving from Barcelona on the 21st, the 22nd of Septem September, we're going to be in Port Vendres, um, France, uh, V-E-N-D-R-E-S. I've listened to it on my phone. I took French in high school, but it seems to miss me on some of these things. The 23rd, we are going to be in Set, France, S-E-T-E. -E. Uh, the 24th, we're going to be in Provence. The 25th, in Saint-Tropez. The 26th, in Ajaccio, Corsica. And um, I don't have an excursion there. I've been to Ajaccio before, and I think I'm just going to walk in and around and soak up some Napoleon this time. Uh, last time we d went to Napoleon, uh, his uh, I want to say Maison, his home where he grew up, and uh, I'm going to go see some more things there this time. Then the 27th, we're in Cannes, France, and then the 27th at 8 p.m., we arrive in Nice, and we have an overnight there, and then the next morning, I have booked the disembark excursion that will take us around Nice and then to the airport. So I'll take you with me. Before I tell you about the princess transfers, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, will you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button? We need to have you with us. And if you appreciate my updates, will you please give this video a thumbs up? Thanks so much. Now, here's why I think I want to talk to you. I know I need to talk to you about what is going on with the princess hotels. Historically, Really, truly, when you booked a Princess Hotel, they were supposed to meet you at the airport, take you to your hotel, the Princess Hotel that they booked with, depends on where it is, they vary by city, and sometimes they vary by cruise in the city, but they would take you to that hotel, and then the next morning, they would take you to the ship. It was a very seamless, almost luxurious way to travel, because you knew that someone would meet you at the hotel, and I'm sorry, at the airport, and get you safely to the hotel. Now, when we're coming back from COVID, um, and even more recently, people have shared that they will be met at the airport there by the princess rep at baggage claim. And sometimes they have been put in nice cars, a taxi, an, an Uber type of thing, um, uh, like an SUV when there's more people. But they would be very nicely taken to the um, hotel that they are booked at. Sometimes they take a shuttle bus when there's a lot of people. Just depends. But all these different ways to make your travel seamless. But that seems to be stopping. And and it seems to be different. I have gotten so many emails since I talked to about this the other day. Um, last night, I had guests who were kind enough, our Let's Go family members, who booked their cruise with me. So they end up getting there to Seattle. A lady with Princess, a rep there, meets them at Baggage Claim, just checks their name off the list, and points them up to where the hotel shuttle buses come. Mind you, um, one of the guests is in a wheelchair. And so... Um, they ended up having to go through a lot of hassle. If you've not been to Seattle there, to me, it's a hassle on what you have to do to get from baggage claim to get up to where they have the hotel shuttles come up in the parking structure. You have to take the elevator and then go find that. And then you have to stand there and wait while all these different hotel shuttles come along and hope that you get your right one. And um, then you get on the shuttle. And she said so many people were waiting, trying to get on the shuttle, that it was such a hassle. They finally get to the... Um, double tree there which was one of the princess hotels in seattle they get there and the line is huge after waiting in line for a half an hour she leaves their luggage with the bell captain and she they go for dinner they come back there is still a long line to check in not a princess from, a person from princess in sight now um she did message me this morning and let me know that things went much more smoothly this morning when they went down they were able to get um, on the princess transfer and go over to the ship so things were better this morning but princess did not keep up their end of the deal so um I guess I'm trying to figure out the best way for us to share with each other where this works in different places. Clearly, Seattle should be checked off your list if you want to be sure to be met and taken to your hotel and have that nice service. So, I and the reason I think it's important to know this is because a lot of people pay extra for the Princess Hotel to have that service uh, being met and transferred from the airport to the hotel. 
So share your experience in the comments. I really appreciate that. I'm trying to figure out a way to have a place that everybody can add what their um, information is for the different places. Um, people said, you know, the the yeah, we're hearing all sorts of different experiences and it can even vary from week to week. Like some people went on the cruise before we did out of JFK and, um, sorry, out of New York and their whole experience with getting picked up and transferred to the Princess Hotel there was very different than our Let's Go family members who went uh, to the Princess Hotel the week that we went on that cruise. So I don't really know what the remedy is. I don't really know what the problem is other than I don't think anybody is paying attention to what's going on with the contractors that they contract with to do this. They're clearly not doing their job. I don't really know what the remedy is for all of this, but I want you to all be aware of it so that you have a backup plan in your mind. I talked about that the other day in my video when we first um, talked about the transfers not going as smoothly in several places, as well as this problem with the Princess Hotels in some places. So always have in the back of your mind what you're going to do if your transportation is not working out the way that you expect. The second thing that I would think of is it really makes me nervous about recommending Princess Hotels. Uh, to, to guests. I know that a lot of times I think you book that princess hotel, things are going to go seamlessly for you in your destination. And now I'm not so sure that that is always going to be the case. So I really truly look forward to reading your comments down below about what your experience has been, especially recently with princess hotels and princess transfers. And make sure that you tell us where you took those transfers, where the hotel was located, and uh, it'll help all of us. So thanks. I'll be talking to all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.